Hey guys, it is Mick. Welcome back to more Your Turn to Die. In the last one, we were playing as Keiji, and we are concocting a plan to fool both uh, Midori and everyone else. But for that, we have to talk to Kitaro. And let me just confirm something. Yeah, that's Hayasaka's coffin. Because, remember, Maple's objective was to kill the person in the fourth coffin. But as this coffin says... One, two, three, seven, six, five, four. Her target target is not Midori. It is Hayasaka. She has been subject to a misunderstanding, and that's going to be fun. Uh, anyway, let's talk to Kitaro. Oh yeah, let's do our lost memories here. Does has Keiji remember this? What? How does Keiji know? So, hey, Kutaro, wanna talk about your lost memories? <laughs> memories? Yep, just a bit of counseling. Guess you'd be one for police questioning, eh? But, well... Guess it's as good a time as any. Let's give it one last go. I was afraid, you know. Like maybe taking a serious look would dig up some outrageous memory. How do they know about this? Unless, so unless one of the things we didn't... Like, what, unless the thing we didn't hear from Sophaline was her explaining this. It just might. Well, who knows what's gonna happen. But you help me through it, Keiji. Alright, cool. This looks like a hospital room. Yep. This memory I'm wondering about was when I was in the hospital. For yourself? I told you when we met that I got injured and couldn't play, play, couldn't play baseball for a while, right? Never really looked back on that time, thinking it was in the past. But it's a real unclear memory, and it just feels like there's more to it. Alright, I'll try to help him remember. Is this me, Doherty? Yeah, sure is! Well, let's start here. This is baseball and bat ornaments. Maybe this? Could you remember this part some more? Right, that, huh? Think I might have remembered something. That ornament. Actually, I threw it out. It was a gift from a supporter, but it was painful to leave it out. Can't hide nothing from you, can I? You got it in one. Wanted anything to do with baseball out of sight. So I tossed it and just pretended I'd forgotten. Then now, I'm a weak person. Only a strong person could admit they're weak. Mm, so he was in a wheelchair. Interesting. So he screwed up his legs badly then, right? Or his spine, perhaps. Could you remember this part some more? Yep, it was a wooden chair. Come to th Think of it, though, that can't be it. It was comfier than that. Comfier? That's right, because... It was a wheelchair. Completely forgot. My leg injury was worse than I thought. Seems like it takes some time to treat. Yeah, fatally long time for a second string player itching to get back into pro baseball. He must have been feeling awfully impatient. That's understandable. Did he hurt his eye as well? Could you remember your own face some more? <laughs> now that's a weird question. But uh, let's see. Coming to think of it, something was different. Now what was it? Back then I had bandages. There were bandages wrapped around my head. That ain't right. Was it just not my leg that got injured? Was your head injured too? Nah. My eyes. I lost nearly all my eyesight then. That explains the red eyes. What's going on here? If that's true, why can I see now? Doll, 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 doll. Or fake memories, or replanting dolls memories. Something's happening. That this is this this Kutaro isn't the same one we're seeing in these memories. Maybe your treatment or surgeries went well? Then why have I got no memory of that? If they were erased, that's quite a mystery. 
I want to remember quick. Everything. And the TV was off. Could you remember this part some more? You got it! The TV. Yeah, I got an idea about that. It's a little embarrassing, but... I couldn't watch TV no more. Huh. Why is that? When I turned on the TV, like it or not, there'd be news programs going. And I'd catch sight of some baseball news. It wasn't TV you couldn't watch, but baseball? <laughs> I'm heartless, I swear. Can't even cheer for my teammates. Watching baseball. It was pure suffering. I understand that, though. Even if you're happy for someone, even if you're happening happy for someone, if you feel left out, then it hurts to know about sometimes. And that sucks, and you're not a bad person for feeling that way. Or however you cope with it on your own. But you gotta be careful about how you project that to the people involved, basically. Uh, I get how you feel. But you can't watch detective shows no more either. Sure, guess we'll say that. Around that time, I was thinking about death and a lot more than baseball. Kitaro, don't go tell a nobody. Not a word. Could you remember this person some more? Yeah, I think that lady was... No, hold on, it was a man! He was a fair bit taller than that, and also... His face. That's right. He had the same face as Midori. That ain't possible. You're telling me I met Midori there? Stay calm. Are you sure of that? Yeah, now that I think about it, it's gotta be. I met Midori and talked with him. Feels like we discussed my retirement. You were able to open up to him? You got it. Retirement. I'm losing both his legs and his eyesight. No doubt he'd lose confidence to continue. What else are we missing? Ah, uh, the curtain's a bit different. Man, Midori got busy, though. Like, maybe it was multiple dolls, but, like, he he had so many jobs that, like, he had to have put a fair amount of work into, or put a fair amount of work into fooling the systems he was supposed to be there. That, like, damn. The curtain? You just take interest in the weirdest places, huh? Nothing of interest there? Nah, wait. There was... I think the curtain... It was half closed that you couldn't see from the other room. That room had kids in it, see? And they were baseball lovers, in deep enough to know about me. To children, athletes are like superheroes. That's right. You understand, don't you? I couldn't let those sick kids in the hospital see me like that. He didn't want them to see their hero discouraged. I see. That's thoughtful of him. Alright, what else are we missing? Gotta be something. Something I'm just overlooking. The writing's the same. Light looks the same. The window looks the same. The TV <laughs> looks the same. Wheelchair. The picture, the bed. Are the flowers any- they don't look different, but let's click on them anyway. They're flowers from a teammate who came to visit. I don't know nothing about types of flowers, and then they took care of all the water. And he didn't happen to say, mistake them for vegetables and eat them. <laughs> I didn't eat them! 
Well, nothing odd there, it seems. One of the things I missed in the Enrecos was like a security camera, so I was looking for that, but I don't seem to be able to find anything. I missing. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's anything different about the switches on the wall. <laughs> if I did that, the doctor would get worried and come running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love picking the wrong ones in the case he just starts hassling him. Kutaro's outfit? Doesn't look like it. Worth, uh... Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, they, he lowered the height of the bed. Okay. That was, that's such a, a specific detail. I didn't even like, and yeah, now seeing it side by side with this, this is clearly lower, but I was just guessing. Since I'm so big, I was risking falling off. Truly a giant. <laughs> it ain't a laughing matter. If a leg injury worsens, that's deadly for a player's career. I couldn't let the guys at the orphanage hear that I retired because I fell out of bed. Could be a funny headline. Keiji! You gonna take this seriously or what? But nothing like that happened and you were discharged from the hospital just fine, right? Gitara? Yeah, should be. Were you not? I remember- He probably went right from the hospital to here. I remember it. The whole thing. My real memory looked like this. I took a major injury that threatened my career. If I got it during practice, that'd be one thing, but it was a careless, unrelated accident. Stuck in a hospital room, I worried day after day. Then that nurse came along. Should I just die? I've got no value left. I'd be better off dying, I tell ya. It's alright. You'll be back on the field soon. How long's that gonna take? Days? Months? No, a year? How can I play baseball with these legs and these eyes? I apologize. Sorry, but just quit trying to console me. There's a way. Huh? Do you know the Asinato Vow? If you sign your name on a certain form, you can have any one wish granted. I ain't gonna believe some silly pipe dream. Well, that's just the official story. Rumor has it, you can be given experimental illegal treatments. But if you're just going to die otherwise, what do you think? In truth, I have one of the forms here. I'll leave it here for you, Mr. Cutado. A silly pipe dream. But ain't my life always been chasing dreams? My eyes, my legs, I didn't get them through above board means. They were compensation for signing that form. This was Kitaro's erased memory. Damn it. What kind of athlete am I? So he, is he like Cyborg? His eyes and legs are part dull? <laughs> I never really believed in playing fair from the start, did I? I see. Anyway. After that, I'm ready, Kitaro. Let's execute the plan. All right, let's do it. Kutaro, my. And so me and Miles support Keiji from the lower floor here. Okay, 
I'll go to the, uh, I'll go to the upper floor and charge up, Midori said. Time to start. Don't you dare get seen, Keiji. Now then, I just need to get to the elevator. Sure thing. The elevator's completely stopped working. All right. Keiji, we'll turn on the power to the elevator. When we do, the people on the upper floor will surely come down, so... At the same time, you'll go up in the ele you'll go up in the other elevator so you can pass them right by. So we can slip by, huh? And that let us slip by Midori as well, then. A near miss plan. Hope it works out. Anyway, I'll wait here for now. Kutaro and Mai can decide the timing. They're taking a while. Still nothing? Can't exactly leave the spot, though. That sound! Is, is that the elevator coming back on? Okay, cool. I'm like, that sounded like the shutter opening. I'll wait here for a little bit. The other elevator started up. Let's hit the floor. Yeah, I hit the floor five button. I pressed the button and the elevator started moving. Nobody knows I'm here, right? I'll search for the charging room without letting anyone see me. Well, Kurumata's gonna see us. That's just how it's gonna go. And that must be why he went missing. There's paper scattered around. I'll try not to step on these. Kurumata isn't moving at all. Am I... too late? You look like you're seeing a corpse. You're alive? Ha! <laughs> and whose fault do you think it is I'm like this? Thank you. I was able to get out of the coffin safely. Ha! <laughs> Good. So, like, why are you all by yourself? What about Mai? You seen her? She's safe. She's down below. Oh, yeah? <laughs> then I guess we'll meet up. Where's everybody else? They all headed down. It's just me here. Of course, I might be at my limit soon. Just Kurumata, then... I should tell him about the banquet. You serious with that? Sure am. Well, ain't that perfect. <laughs> Thought we'd just be wiped out in the end anyhow. If we can save even a single one, we gotta take that bet. You... You've gotten pretty kind, huh? Ah, shut up. Well, whatever. I'm feeling good. I'll tell you this, too. If a floor master meets their doppelganger, they die. Right, Keiji didn't know that yet. What's up? N nothing. Be grateful, because that was the only info I had. This isn't good. Now I can't tell him about Midori's head. That's a charger. To think it's so huge, but only has enough for one full charge. One full charge? Why does he know that? Don't tell me. You used it? Yeah. Only half, though. What? You think I'd hoard it all for myself? Shit. So there's still half. What's up? I'd draw suspicion if I asked him how to use the charger directly. Hmm. Well now, aren't these... Instructions? I should be able to hook it up, but I'm sure Kurumato will see. No choice. Connected me Doherty's head to the charger. Huh. Hey, that's... Ain't that me Doherty's head? Did you kill him? Wrong. This is a doll head and... 
Don't screw with me! Then why are you spending precious battery on that thing? Ugh. Let's just explain the situation. He's here, we may as well. Calm down, I'll explain. We're gonna use the AI Seaver, the machine that birthed you guys, to create another Midori. What? That doesn't make any damn sense! Kurumara crawls closer. If you made another damn Midori, ain't that making a doppelganger? Kurumara crawls, clo crawls closer. What should I do? You're trying to kill Midori, aren't you? Didn't we save you? Even my wounds are cause of you. And yet, you're gonna forsake us? No, this is just for the banquet. I know, that's gotta be a lie. Listen to me, stop that right now! Quit it, get away! You traitor! Keiji! Uh, you gonna kill me? Again? That's wrong. No, it's not. You can't save anyone. I... All that matters to you is yourself. Don't touch me. Murderer. I said don't touch me! Did his battery die? Uh... Did I... Kill him? Please, Keiji. Don't forsake them. Please. Yeah. I wouldn't forsake anyone. It's risky though. Yeah, I, listen, I forgot, like, when we were doing the whole doppelganger thing, like, I knew what that meant. Like, I put the pieces together pretty much immediately for this, but I forgot that Midori dying means that these guys do as well. <laughs> I forgot that was how that worked. <laughs> so when Kurumata was like, don't do it, I'm like, wait, why? And then, then he brought up forsaking them, and I'm like, oh, right, Midori's death kills them too. <laughs> So did we end up charging it, or... No. <sighs> I charged it. Now I just have to get back to the lower floor. Calm down. This plan is also no one sees me. Testing, testing, can you hear me? Huh? It's your friendly policeman on the air. How's everybody doing? What? Would love to explain everything, but unfortunately, there's no time. If you can hear my voice, I've got a request for you. Yeah, I figured that this wasn't Keiji. Like, I trust Keiji, but I didn't trust that this was Keiji. Um... But who? Would it be Kurumara? No, he's dead on the pavement. Uh... Meister, maybe? That would make sense. It's just confusing, because... Me, we know Midori's... It can only be, like... It can only be another doll. It can only be Meister. It can only be Tyr. It, it can't be Ranger. Ranger's dead. But either way, I knew we wouldn't have... We wouldn't get a leg up on the, the dolls. They're... Pretty much omnipotent. Bring the ID card to the classroom. I need Sarah to do it, and I need for her to come alone. Counting on you. What the hell was that? That was my voice. Damn it, what do I do? It could just be a KG doll set up to trap them. Nobody here. What in the world's going on? There's a dubious consent form on the blackboard. It reads, I agree to devote myself to Asunato for granting my wish. So 
says, watch out for above, come when you're alone. So, you really were alive. Aranmaru. How do you feel, Keiji? Oh, right, I forgot Ranmaru went up to the, the next floor. But this wasn't him, was it? It couldn't have been. Ranmaru. Did you make that broadcast? Okay, why did he do it then? I forgot Ramaru went up here. Right, with the transceiver to look for Kurumada because he wasn't responding. Okay. Yep, found a nice voice changer function. You got some business with me? I might. Hand over Midori's head. Not seeing where you're going with this. I heard it all over the transceiver. You killed Kurumada, Keiji. I didn't kill him. I trusted you. Sarah, too. She trusted you the most. But look at you with scrutiny, and it's clear. Keiji, you... You're with Asunato, aren't you? I don't get what you mean. Sarah, she... She signed the consent form. She was brought here by someone's wish. Put into a desperate situation for someone's sake. And at last, she signed the invitation. Keiji, are you the one who brought Sarah here? Why would it be me? Ranmaru, this is just jealousy. You just want to be the closest to her. The one who protects her, isn't that right? I don't think so. No! I don't matter in this! I just want to help Sarah! You can't be that person. Not you, as a doll. Or me, as a murderer. Of course I know that! Now come on! Hand over me Dory's head! Wait, somebody's coming. Hide! Keiji? There's no one here. Why'd Sarah come here? Because you called her, dumbass! What did you expect her to do? What do you mean, why'd Sarah come here? You're a fool! A buffoon! What are you planning? Ranmaru held out his left hand. Ah, the steam. Ugh. What's this? Keiji, are you there? Don't come here, Sarah. That voice. It's you, isn't it, Keiji? Stay away. Are you the one who called for me? Listen to me. If you survived, then why? Don't come over here! Sarah! Ah! Whoa. Sarah! Stay with us, Sarah! Sarah! Is Ron Maru the Asunato agent? <laughs> Why does he have a taser? Time to lock you away.